Wow, that is a lot of money. Roll that intro. I am Anonymous Biker USA. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about three of the world's most expensive motorcycles. Coming in at number three, the 1936 Crocker Small Tank. This sold at the Mecham Auctions in August of 2019 for $825,000. The Crocker was the American V-Twin everyone wanted when it was new, 1936 to 1942, but few could afford. That's still true today. Al Crocker was an industry veteran, having started his career at Indian in the 1900s as a development engineer and owning a string of dealerships in the 20s and 30s. His last dealership was on 1346 Venice Boulevard, the hallowed home of Crocker Motorcycles. Al Crocker built excellent speedway bikes and Indian Scout OHV version kits before embarking on a Harley Killer, an overhead valve big twin that vied with the pre-war Vintant V-Twin for the title of fastest production bike in the world. This bike was claimed as the only original, unrestored Crocker Exxon. Replicas are made, caveat emptor. Coming in at number two is the 1915 Cyclone Board Track Racer. Sold in March of 2015 at Mecham Auctions for $852,000. As American bikes go, the Cyclone has a mythical aura that is all about the proportion to its impact on the industry. It is arguably the most technically advanced American motorcycle engine until 2001 the V-Rod, with a single overhead camshaft motor that was outer space tech for the day. The chassis was pure 1915 though, with a single speed chain drive on both racers and roadsters, though the road bikes had a clutch and rear brake. Cyclones were the fastest thing on wheels for a while before cooler running F-head racers from Excelsior and Harley Davidson made it obsolete. In 2018, four Black Lightnings were sold, two for around $350,000 and this one for close to $1 million and the long-lost 1950 Earl's Count Showbike, purchased for $20,000 off Craigslist. That's right, off Craigslist. Tossing the outliers, the selling price of a Lightning is clearly in the mid 300 k range. Why so much for this one? Two things. This is an unmolested original paint bike and it's famous in Australia as Jack Errett rode this machine to an Australian speed record in 1953 at 141.5 miles an hour. Why is the Vincent Black Lightning the holy grail of motorcycling? There were only ever 33 examples produced. There are only 19 correct examples still in existence. And it's on every collector's wish list. This particular example of a Vincent Black Lightning was produced in 1951. The bike had a fantastic history. We knew every single owner from when this machine was built at the factory. Lightnings are very rare with only 31 built between 1948 and 1952 and their reputation was enshrined by Richard Thompson whose song 1952 Vincent Black Lightning is a compelling argument for must-have status. Which one of these three bikes would you like? Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, I am Anonymous Biker USA.